Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design lateral steel members in the RAM frame steel post processor. In this particular video, we're going to be looking at incorporating the second order analysis requirements of the AISC 360 direct analysis method. Now in RAM frame, we can incorporate both RP large delta and RP small delta requirements as specified by this specification. Our P large delta effects are the second order effects induced on a structure due to the movement of its mass under lateral loads. And your P small delta effects are the second order effects caused by displacement of the member between its bracing points. Let's go ahead and turn our attention back to RAM frame. And as you can see, I'm already in the steel post-processing mode. I'm at the point where I'm ready to incorporate my second order analysis requirements into the design of my lateral steel members. To start this process, I'm gonna to go to my criteria menu option and take a look at my B1 and B2 factors. Now let's go ahead and start by discussing the B2 factor first. Now in RAM frame, P large delta effects can be incorporated through a RAM frame analysis or through a B2 multiplier in the steel post-processing mode. If specified in the steel post-processing mode, the B2 factor will be calculated for each diaphragm and for each load combination in accordance with the approximate second order analysis method as described in the AISC 360 Appendix 8. Now for this particular model, we chose to incorporate the P large delta effects within the RAM frame lateral analysis, which can be reviewed through the general criteria. Since the P large delta effects were already incorporated into the lateral analysis, we will not go ahead and incorporate the B2 factor for the design of the lateral steel members, as it wouldn't be necessary to incorporate both options. Now that we've discussed the B2 factor, let's also discuss the B1 factor. Now in RAM frame, the P small delta effects can be incorporated through the B1 multiplier in the RAM frame steel mode. If specified, the B1 factor will be calculated for each member and for each load combination according to the approximate second order analysis method as described in the AISC 360 Appendix 8. So for this particular model, our goal is to incorporate the P small delta effects in the design of our lateral steel members according to the requirements of our design code. To ensure that that happens, we're gonna go ahead and select the apply B1 factors option, and then we'll go ahead and click okay. Now RAM frame does provide a AISC 360 direct analysis validation report, and we can review all of our inceptions and ensure all the requirements were incorporated through the analysis and design after the design takes place. At this point, we have finished incorporating our second order effects as required by the AISC 360 specification. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.